governments, nations, kingdoms, economies, all things that shall be shaken. See that you are not. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstruck. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glories glory in this. So we have an idea of what God tells us to glory in. This. Let him that glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me. I am the Lord. So this is where your glory will be, is in understanding and knowing, say knowing, Him. Him who? Him God, the Holy Ghost, who is God in the earth today. There's glory in this. Knowing who God is and how we walk with Him in the earth today, there is glory in this. Can you hear that? He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. I have the answer. I possess it. I own it. The political answer, the economic answer on a worldwide scale. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Now, other translations say, when the righteous rule. Say, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. When the righteous increase, and when the righteous thrive. That's the answer. Say, that's the answer. Unrighteousness shall not maintain itself in the presence of His glory. That's a direct quote. From the book of Enoch. Jude also quoted directly from the book of Enoch and so did Jesus. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 15 says, Behold, I will make a new, say a new, a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Listen, and you will reap and thresh the nations. In the book of Esther, we see Esther and her people coming under great trials and tribulations. And we read here in Esther chapter 4, verse 14. And who knows whether thou art come into the kingdom for such a time as this? Who knows? Well, you need to know. Say, I need to know. If I've come into the kingdom for such a time as this. And Esther wasn't talking about coming into the kingdom of God or God's kingdom. She was literally in a physical kingdom, a governmental kingdom, a political kingdom for such a time as this. Esther's kingdom was not a spiritual kingdom that she came into. Not spiritual, but governmental the church fails when it spiritualizes everything Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 28 wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved say cannot be moved what does that mean it can't be moved it's permanent it's eternal let us have grace wherefore we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Verse 27, and this word, yet once more, signifies the removing, say the removing, 
of those things that are shaken that are made that those things which cannot be shaken may remain we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken which means those things which can be shaken are the kingdoms the systems the governments the economies of the world can be shaken are you here but the kingdom we're receiving cannot be shaken in fact all of these things all of these systems shall be shaken I hope you understand that governments nations kingdoms economies all things that shall be shaken see that you are not can you see that from the scriptures those things are going to be shaken see that you are not and if God's telling you that you should not be shaken there must be a way for you to not be shaken even though those other systems are are you here Matthew 24 and verse 6 and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you be not troubled is that what your Bible says then he goes on to say for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet <laughs> so all of these things these systems say systems shall be shaken that's my point but you shall not be what's up with that all of those systems the government systems the economic systems shall be shaken expect it say expect it in fact cause it Joel chapter 2 verse 1 blow ye the trumpet in Zion sound an alarm in my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is nigh at hand verse 2 a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people say a great people what are we talking about now a great people a great people and a strong there's not there has not been ever the like neither shall any more after it even unto the years of many generations verse 3 a fire devours before them and behind them a flame burns the land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness yea and nothing shall escape them them this people skip down to verse 10 the earth say the earth where's that oh here the earth shall quake before them they're causing the quaking the earth shall quake before them the heavens shall tremble the sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining verse 11 and the Lord shall utter his voice before his army say his army and his army isn't his just the angels he set up there a great people this trembling is going to happen because of a great people they are the cause of it listen did you hear that they are the cause of it Acts 17 you came into the kingdom for such a time as this Acts chapter 17 and verse 6 these that have turned the world upside down have come hither also these that have turned the world upside down what's the world where you are the world system that sounds like shaking that sounds like disruption these that have turned the world upside down upside down complete disruption say complete disruption upside down is completely over like turning a turtle on its back disruption is literally in your job description say disruption is in my job description if you disrupt 
you increase and you go forward if you don't disrupt you stay where you're at fall behind and there's no pleasure there there's no joy there oh but I don't want to rock the boat I don't want to disrupt the boat that's how most people are well then go somewhere else because I'm disrupting all the boats did you hear that I'm disrupting all the boats disrupt everything <laughs> well who's gonna like you then Jesus said those that are with me right let's look at that Matthew chapter 12 verse 30 he that is not with me is against me he that gathers not with me scatters abroad he that is not with me is against me well who's gonna like you he that's with you say he that's with me who's the one that's with you the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today he's the one that's with you glory in this that you understand and know him there's glory in this only those who are with me are going to like me everyone else is being disrupted and I mean everyone else who's with me the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today he's with me and I glory in this that I understand and know him Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 15 behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket insignificant really and are counted as as the small dust of the balance meaning they don't affect the scale one way or another he takes up the aisles as a very little thing the nations the kingdoms the systems are as a drop in the bucket to who the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 20 says but the Lord is in his holy temple let all the earth keep silence before him is this in your Bible the Lord is in his what holy temple where's that that's you what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost the Lord is in his holy temple let all the earth keep silence before him the nations are as a drop in the bucket the Lord's in his holy temple let the earth say the earth keep silence before him is this true or not true you don't know who you are glory in this that you understand and know him and the earth listen will keep silence before you it'll go still all the systems Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 says for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord that that which you glory in the earth will be filled with this knowledge as the waters cover the sea glory in this see and we see these things as a Bible future fact written but you are to make it your present reality make it your present day reality but as we can see there is no way of getting here without disruption massive disruption and you become that catalyst of change you go from glory to glory you go from glorying in this knowledge of the Holy Ghost God in the earth today to glorying in another knowledge of the Holy Ghost who God in the earth today glory in this I worship you Holy Ghost or rather using the words I worship you Holy Ghost 
is a disruptive system it disrupts all systems can you hear that if you don't think so you're not doing it right that it disrupts you first it disrupts all of your systems first say I'm disrupted you worship the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost it disrupts all of your systems you get turned upside down first and this new system that comes to you not only disrupts you you first but it takes over it replaces and I like this word it displaces say displaces which means it displaces the other systems and displacement means it doesn't re it doesn't leave room for the other thing the other thing gets displaced does that make sense like when you're putting something heavy into a bathtub and I'm not talking about you I'm not making some kind of statement about you being heavy I'm just saying when you put a heavy object into a bathtub it displaces the water <laughs> displacement means it can't contain both when you begin to worship the Holy Ghost as God it displaces a lot of your other old theology and you can't contain both and it displaces all things all systems and not just the systems in you and not just the systems in the church itself but it displaces all systems governmental systems economic systems all things that can be shaken will be shaken so that those things which cannot be shaken you in that kingdom that has displaced the other things cannot be shaken so those things that can't be shaken may remain let that be you Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people causing them to receive from the kingdom that cannot be shaken that all those things listen says the Spirit Lord all those things that are around them shall begin to be shaken but they won't ever be shaken they shall remain and all things will begin to work in your favor in your way and your path will become silent and sweet and wide open unto you says the Spirit Lord walk ye in it prosper and live the life you've been called to live in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you God you are God today. in the earth today you are causing me Holy to receive Ghost, a kingdom that cannot be shaken today. and even though all those other kingdoms around me shall be shaken my kingdom will remain and increase in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right